Okay, so we have our setup. We have exam running, MySQL running, we have a node server running, we have all the repositories, a Composer plugin, the Pimco plugin, and the Pimco test website. Let's look at a very simple use case, like creating a channel and subscribing to it. This is done very easy, just using the channel factory and giving the channel an identifier and then subscribe to it. In the background, this uses a TCP connection to the node server via 0MQ. And now, if we want to push something to this channel, we just go to the home route, open our postman using a test route to push something to a channel and we see it's getting pushed. A very simple use case. So on the client side the code for subscription to this channel is created automatically. There are also automatic subscriptions to a document channel and the global website channel. And if you want to push something to this document channel we can use the Pinker interface. We can push messages or assets and do something with it on the client side, like changing the background image. We can also push objects like products and we see the locked data. Concerning objects, this is done via extending the object. So we use an object channel. Actually, we are using the same channel as before, but now using HTTP for the connection and predefined identifiers. And if we create a new class, which extends the object channel, we can see that there is no model on the node server side and no controller for it, which we would need for the subscriptions, for the routes, and to have access to the database. So if we create a new instance, a generator script is called, which creates us the desired model and the controller. So now we are up and running and have all the routes and access. If we now enter the shop, we can see the code which subscribes us to the model instances for all the products. And if we go now to the Pimco backend, we can just again push messages or data on these channels. Crud events are sent automatically, so if we update one of those objects, now look at the price. If we update the price, the price gets updated on the client side as well. Okay. Programmatically, this is done. Again, very simple. Just subscribing to the object, because we extend the object channel. And the updated data we get from the Pinker Event Manager, we just react to the post update event, for example, see if the object is published, and publish an update event. Object lists are a little trickier, because we have some conditions, and we have to convert update events to publish create events and publish destroy events. So, if you want to subscribe to a list of product reviews with a specific condition, like we go to the fashion category, we see that the new channel is created, the channel is stored, base64 encoded, and if we now create a new product review for an electronic product, 
we can see that we don't get the push in the right window, only on the left side, because we have no condition on the left side. And we push a review for a fashion product and we get the push on both sides. And concerning reliability of the connection, we see if we restart the node server, we are automatically subscribed to all the channels before and everything works fine again. We can just again push messages.